Hope you guys had a good Christmas and spent time with friends and family. And of course, if you don't, hope you guys just had a good week. This week, we're going to be starting off by covering the 155th Elite Code Problem Min Stack. So this question is a little bit unconventional because it's not a straight up algorithm question. To be able to solve this question, you need to know a lot about stacks. So let's dive right in by reading the problem statement. Design a stack that supports push, pop, top, and retrieving the minimum element in constant time. So here is an example. If we were to push negative 2, 0, negative 3, and then say get min, we get negative 3. If we were to pop the top value, which is negative 3, we'll get popped off of the stack. And then once we get the top, we'll see that the previous value that was inserted before negative 3 is now on the minimum stack. And of course, if we get min, we will return negative 2. Now that we understand the problem, let's jump into the algorithm section. So we're going to need to design a stack that can get the minimum value in constant time. It's going to have the operations push, pop, top, and get min. So push is just going to push an item onto a stack. Pop is going to pop the last item that we inserted. Get top is going to get the last item that we inserted, but it's not going to pop it from the stack. And get min is going to get the minimum value inside the entire stack in constant time. Suppose we have a stack and that the user keeps adding a, b, c, and yada yada yada. Every time a new value is added, onto the top of the stack we're going to keep another variable called min and we're going to update min every time a new value is pushed onto the stack if the new value is less than the minimum value that currently exists in the stack then we're just going to update the minimum value now suppose we have a stack like this right now the minimum value is negative one however say the user does a pop so now we pop negative one technically the minimum value stored inside of our object is still going to be negative one what do we need to do so every time we pop we're going to need to update our new minimum so to update the minimum we're just going to have to traverse the entire stack and get the minimum value which in this case is zero and that way next time we call get min we just return the minimum value in the stack which is a variable on the object and that is going to automatically have the right value so these are a few things to consider when we are pushing onto the stack we we may have to update the minimum value pushing anything onto a stack can take constant time because it's just going to be pushing it onto an array as well as doing one comparison. Popping, however, is going to require a lot more checks because we may have to go through the entire stack anytime we pop a value from the stack to update the minimum value. So that's going to be O of N if N is the number of items in the stack. Cool. So we have push, we have pop, top. Because we are storing the values inside of an array, we don't have to pop the item from the array. We could just return the value so that is just a simple index search. So we have top and we have get min since our object for the stack is going to contain the array and also a minimum value. We can just always ask for this minimum value, which we know is going to be updated on any push or pop of the stack. We, we can confirm that the minimum value is always going to be the minimum value in the stack. And that gives us a constant time get min value in the stack. Cool. So. Now that we've covered the algorithm and the big O type complexity, let's take a look at how the code works. So when we're initializing the object, the min stack, what we want to do is have a list, which is just going to be the stack and a minimum value declared on the stack object itself, because we can update this minimum value whenever we want. And so to retrieve it, all we're going to have to do is say return self.minval and it's going to be in constant time. So now let's consider the other operations. When we're pushing a value onto a stack, we want to append it to the stack, and the new value that we're pushing on is less than the minimum value that already exists in the stack, and we're just going to update the minimum value. The other operation, which is pop, is, well, we could just pop the item off, but the issue is that if we pop the minimum valued item from the stack, we're going to have to update the minimum value. So that's what I have this helper function update min for, where we, we initialize a new minimum value at infinity. And for all the items inside of the new stack, if the current item in the stack is less than the new minimum, so we're just going to update the item 
the new minimum. And at the end, once we have iterated through all the items inside of the stack, all we have to do is update the new minimum value. And of course, the last thing, which is getting the top item in the stack without popping it, is just going to be returning the last indexed item in the stack. Cool. Now let's just submit and make sure things are working fine. And as always, they should be because I just tested this like five seconds ago. Yeah, so this is the answer for minimum stack. This is a little bit of a different problem than we usually do. And I wanted to cover it because it requires a deeper understanding of stacks and that can always help you in your interview process. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe for more in the future. I post weekly on Mondays.